shocking news, my lovely, wonderful people. You will be shocked as Nigeria Defense Minister tells the country, we are at war. Don't allow politicians to deceive you. Everybody's wondering, everybody's asking themselves, what do you mean by what you just said? He said that is what he said, that the country is currently going through a lot. But our politicians are trying very hard to, you know, to dose out the tension. He said, with what is going on with the Bokos, if you know the sophisticated weapons they have and all that is going on, so you will understand indeed really and truly that the country is going through a very, very turbulent uh, season that he can only describe as a worse situation well my people unless we begin to you know stand for what we believe as true you know and begin to take real decisive decision you know for, for the government to give accountability of course they have they have a, they have a, a, they have a duty to protect the people you know because of what they hear and all that this is why they are looking very much to regulate the social media so that people will not know truly what is going on but guess what? Whether they do it or not, we will know exactly what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigeria is at war. Defense headquarters declares, tell Nigerians be prepared. The defense headquarters has officially declared Nigeria to be at war and is calling on citizens to unite with the military in a coalition effort to secure victory. According to, the, according to the independent Major General Edwin, who has spoken, Edward said, According to the Major, the Mayor General Edwin Babu, Director of Defense Media Operations, provided updates during a bi weekly media briefing revealing significant achievement in the past month. In the fight against terrorism, troops have accomplished notable facts, including the elimination of 266 terrorists and arrested 483 and successfully rescued 116 kidnapped hostage throughout January. General Babu emphasized the importance of unity, stating, Our nation is at war and war has been complex and ugly. We call upon citizens to recognize their role in this conflict and ensure that they collaborate in addressing the ongoing challenges facing security. They must work with us, give us information, and help us work together to bring about the change that we desire. He also emphasized the need for everyone to know that we are on the same side. We are working together and we are fighting this fight together. He says the important thing is for everyone to realize that the various segments of society to emulate, the, emulate and be dedicated to the troops in the front line, supporting them, working together in goal to ensure that we restore peace in our vicinity and in our nation at large. Throughout his address, he expressed pride in the diverse organs of the troop, emphasizing their unity front against violence, drawing parallels with achievement in sports, music, and other fields. He has shown that re resilience by the military and Nigerians working together with them will ensure that this is achieved. Everyone will have to work together and ensure that at the end of the day, we are where we are supposed to be with security. We must work together. That's a very brilliant, that's a very, very brilliant and good one. We must see eye to eye and we must ensure that the truth is manifested. As we speak at the moment, you know, this is the defense minister speaking and saying from where he stands, looking at things that where he can see is that uh, it's a terrible situation. Okay. But that being said, does not mean we will leave or we'll give up hope and we'll leave, you know, the most important thing and begin to dwell on things that, do, that does not matter. Every one of us have got an opportunity to make a lot of difference and to ensure that we bring our impact meaningfully in, you know, in order to solve the issues we are currently faced with. Nigeria is going through a lot at the moment. And whatever it is, whatever we do in ensuring that we, we enhance the security of the nation, we go a long way. But again, people are skeptical. You reveal something to a security operative, you don't even know who you're speaking to. 
you don't really know who you are speaking to. The security operative you are speaking to may just be one of them. For all we know, Nigerian government took criminals and tell us that they were bringing them into, you know, they were bringing the security or these criminals into uh, a repentant uh, states. And guess what? These same people now are working against the very good of this nation. You know, some of them are some of them are people who are, you know, working against the nation and doing whatever they can. So in, in a nutshell, for things to be different, everybody will have to understand it and we need to work together to bring about a change. The change is not just with one person, it's not just with a single set of people, it's everyone working together, okay? Bringing in, you know, their best, you know, together to work and to ensure that at the end of the day, this nation become a better place. The issue is that uh, as it stands at the moment, Nigerians understand that, you know, unless we begin to see the relevance of us working together, we may not be able to truly advance very quickly and make, bring about a change in order to solve and to save the situation that is currently, you know, pressing at, heart, at hand. Uh, as it stands, we all know that, you know, the nation is going through a lot and um, we know that, Unless we, we stand together to bring about a change, we may not achieve that. So my lovely people, what do we do? And how do we save and you know s s s make sure that uh, this situation is sorted so that every single person can move forward? The days upon us are so critical. It is real. It is true. These things are happening and it is important that we begin to you know uh, redefine what's happening put things in order to save the cost of the nation so that Nigerians can advance. Nigerians are not asking for too much, honestly. What we're asking is that the government do their due diligence. Putting security in place is a high way to go. If there's security, at least people can go to their farm. It will elevate food scarcity. And before you know it, things will begin to, you know, look quite different. You see, things will begin to look differently. Yes, so it is important, very important. Anyway, my lovelies, it is what it is. If there is any time for us to move forward, it is now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. And from us, is bye for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Remember that everyone must contribute positively, meaningfully, in order to save the nation.